Hello guys and welcome back to the next part of the character modeling tutorial. I'm Daniel and honestly I feel really bad about leaving out again some stuff. I, I'm sure you're going to be annoyed by that. Uh, so uh, let me quickly um, activate matcaps here. By the way that's something you can do as well already while well, sculpting. I think it makes things easier. Um, that's the one I like to use. Uh, okay so I, as you remembered, I last time I said I would do some adjustments, and I did, and I went quite far. I guess it looks already quite different from from last time. But remember, it's all the same thing. I didn't uh, hide any important information from you. I've just um, took some time and detailed it, and there really wasn't anything for me to talk about because I don't know what I'm doing myself at this point. Uh, <laughs> You really have to go to someone who knows about sculpting to get more information about that. Um, yeah, it's just a really difficult thing and I'm not very conf uh, confident about that myself. But the only good advice that I can give you still is use matcaps, it makes things easier. I forgot to mention that last time. Um, yeah, so actually I, I really went back a few steps and back to the base mesh and start sculpting from new. I'll also show you quickly the mesh that it looks like right now. There might be some changes, especially down here. I'll quickly show you around everything. Um, but let me m make sure that you all understand that. You don't need to go back and redo it and change these kind of things. Uh, I will make sure that you have easy times to follow this tutorial even with the old version. It's, it's, I mean, it's not a difference, you see, it's just having spent more time on detailing it and sculpting, I guess. I really hope you, <laughs> you're fine with that. I will do my best to continu continue this tutorial in a uh, better way and make sure that you can follow well. So, this is what we have now, and we have now a couple things left to do. We will add legs and arms and uh, do the head later. Uh, but these are going to be separate from the body uh, for now. So I'm just going to leave things as they are and I'll add a new um, circle. Oh, let, let's add another one. Don't click anything. Make sure you have here something around 8 vertices. And in edit mode I'll scale it down and move it towards the side and this will continue our leg over here. Um, add a mirror modifier again and um, yeah that's all. So, as for the leg, what I like to do is, after adjusting the base so that it fits what we were start with, what I like to do is just extrude it all the way down until, until around here. And make sure to position it well. And that saves you lots of time because now all you have to do is make subdivisions and adjust their position. So, here one, then over here let's say two. Scale them a bit here. Get another one. You can rotate this one to give the muscles a good shape. Now here we have to adjust from the side a little bit. You can also use proportion editing to achieve good results quickly. And you see, we just modeled for just maybe a minute, just a few seconds, and we have already quite a good looking leg. Of course, lots of things to be adjusted. Um, I just recalculated the normals, just select everything and use Control N in edit mode to recalculate everything, and that fixes issues with the shading. Oh, so I'm going to set it to smooth as well and add a subdivision surface modifier 
to give a similar shading as the upper part so that we can compare it and uh, think of it as one. Let's make sure that the transition between two parts isn't too obvious just for the sake of us seeing the thing as a whole. Now if the grid is in your way you can go to here, the side, and deselect grid floor and these two buttons. Um, this might make things easier for you. Now it's time to add some details. So we have the knee here and we definitely want to give it detail. Um, so let's take a look at how we can achieve that. I guess the center of the knee would be around uh, this here. And so we'll use the knife tool to give us the detail that we want. So over here, let's just cut in like this and then the corners like that. Um, over here we'll have to do some more thinking but let's leave that for later. And what we want to do is just move them out a bit. And yeah, that brings us closer to what we want to have. Um, I might go one one f further. This didn't work out so well, actually. So let's go to down here and connect again in a similar manner. Uh, let's close it. And this looks already a bit better. Now we just have to shape it right. Oh god, this looks awkward. <laughs> but, but that's always the case with modeling. You just try things out and they don't work quite as you expect them to. And then you fix them and then they look much better and then everyone is happy. So... Um, again, if you want to make this look really good, I recommend you to Google images of knees and try to figure out what they really look like. Um, I also really recommend everybody to start drawing and you, you know if you if you model humans, just start drawing humans and if you model environments, why not start drawing environments? Because what drawing forces you to do is to really look at things uh, a lot. And you study things, uh, you know more about them, and those kind of informations, uh, you can easy, easily relate those to 3D modeling as well, and they help you a lot later on. Um, so yeah, that's a good su suggestion, I think for everyone who is looking at improving their skills. Uh, I'm going to fix this topology here in a very similar way that I did before. So use the knife tool and cut in here and fit the, uh, fix the corners like that. Now again we have only quads and it does a pretty good job at what we need. Um, now, I have the feeling that the knee is a bit too low. We can easily fix that by selecting a loop and activating proportional editing, and then you can just move it upwards. And to be honest, I might uh, decide later on in this tutorial to sculpt on this, but I'll leave that for later and we'll see whether we'll do it or not in the end. Uh, anyways, this leg has definitely room for improvements. Um, we'll still leave it as it is for now and in the next part look at different topic maybe the arms um, I think it's better if you leave things as they are and go back to them later on because it will similar to when you draw it will enable you to see lots of mistakes that you didn't really notice at first so that's the plan. We're right, just going to wait and ignore it and see how it turns out later on. Let's just do a last extrusion here to make it look even. Oh no, that didn't look good. 
let's leave it as it is. So that's our current uh, character. Uh, I hope you're all enjoying watching this tutorial. It's going to be really long, really detailed though. Um, and I'm doing my best not to leave out too much information, but hope you have some understanding for how it is to make a tutorial like that. I mean, it's even challenging for me. It's probably the most um, most complex character project that I've uh, worked on. I know it's not good to really make a tutorial on something like that, but uh, there is not so much out there on the internet about these kind of things. I guess someone has to. Um, well, whatever. Thanks for watching as always, and I hope to see you again in my next part. Um, until then, have a good day.